Working remote has become a popular option for employees uh, in recent years, Macy. We hear a lot more about it now, of course, than we used to. But there's a reason you're finding behind that in terms of the desire to live in the city or work at home. Tell right. us more about that. Sure. So a lot of people right now are wanting to leave cities. I mean, initially, cities were appealing to people because city meant opportunity mm -hmm. because a lot of corporations and a lot of big companies that's where all the money was was to move to these cities and so people equated that with opportunity so they would go there and they would um, interview and it was just the hub of, of where to be mm -hmm. in rural areas obviously not so much now however since everybody has flocked to cities mm -hmm. the cost of living is just astronomical mm -hmm. i mean 58 percent of respondents in the Citrix survey characterized living in a city as crippling because of the cost. And so not only wow. that, but just, in, and if they try to move out, commuting is even worse. Mm -hmm. So it's almost, I mean, it's just the, the, the cost the, and the benefit ratio is just is a little is outweighing the other. Yeah, hard for it to add up, I guess, when you really look at it uh, on paper. And, you know, I guess in the beginning, like you mentioned, the city, the, the big cities are the hub, you right, know, and right. that's where people will go to for obvious reasons. Exactly. But but now they, they don't want to. They mm -hmm. want to leave. And so it, the responsibility is really falling on companies to recognize that and to change the way their work environments mm -hmm. to match that. I mean, a lot of companies have tried to make themselves more appealing um, to talent because they're having trouble retaining this talent mm -hmm. because they're wanting to move. So companies have tried um, increasing diversity trainings. They've tried to offer one or two days of flexibility, but that's just not enough. Mm -hmm. If you really want to retain the talent, if you want to attain the talent, you need to let them work remotely, especially with the new generation of, yeah. of workers that are coming out with this graduating class. They are used to doing work remotely with t technology and with um, the way that the tech world is evolving. So mm -hmm. in order to really to really get the talent pool that they're wanting, they, they have to evolve with it. Yeah, most certainly. And it seems though now, especially with, you know, 5G coming, yes. that will make it even easier for people to connect. And, you know, regardless of how far out they live, exactly. you know, away from the city. So do companies, does it seem that they are receptive though to people working remote? Well, they have to be. In mm -hmm. order in order to, to keep that talent and to remain successful, they have to be, and they are. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, I think that that's what the this this survey is really trying to focus on is calling upon the companies to really change and 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 show them that it's really their responsibility to, mm -hmm. to make this happen. And some have embraced it a while ago, right? Oh, absolutely, know? and and it shows, mm -hmm. right? It shows with um with how well they're doing now, but other companies are suffering, especially in the current market in big cities. So companies really need to take notice. Yes. It, it's time. All right, well, for more on Macy's article and the study behind it, you can check it out on Tech Republic.